your app. So brief background. So one day my boss comes to me and he asked me to create a blog for our website. He says, uh, let's use WordPress and I can just buy a team and we can install some plugins. So for me, um, I didn't have the luxury of time to figure out um, how to do uh, it the WordPress way. And um, also, I was also a bit concerned about the security of the plugins. So for me, um, the fastest way for me to implement this was to use Laravel on top of WordPress. So a bit of research. I researched a bit before I proposed a solution. So for me, I, told that I, I, I learned about WordPress and queue styles and about how to hook into the WordPress loop. So basically, WordPress, there's a bunch of posts. It will loop through it, and you can actually um, plug in your CSS and styles while it's uh, looping through all the posts. So you could actually style your posts. And in general, WordPress development is uh, you use this thing called advanced custom fields. So you create custom fields like in a database, and you add uh, different types of uh, database um, tables. So if you want, let's say, events, you could add you know, some information about the event, like a start and an end time to your posts. So another thing that I researched was that there are different plugins that do the same thing. So for example, if there's a team that uh, makes it responsive, there's another company also offering the same plugin, and then you have to compare and then see which one works best for your user. So it's not for me. So I was thinking, how do I use the MVC pattern in um, WordPress? And how do I make sure that my plugins and themes are updated to the latest standards? So I had these issues as well as the security issue with the third-party plugins. I had to check if they were working. Um, did someone insert a script into it, like presented a while ago? So I was like, no, I, I, I don't want to do this. So the solution is to keep WordPress in a separate server. So you could install it like in a separate server where um, you point a different uh, subdomain to it, and you don't reveal it to your um, to the to the public. So this allows you some security through obscurity. So some people would say that this is actually not security, but for me, it, uh, I lose one more attack vector, which is the WordPress website. So. Corsell to the rescue. So here's uh, Corsell uh, GitHub repo. So it has 2,000 stars already, 2,000 plus. And the issue queue is pretty um, updated, and it's a fairly active community. It's built by Jake Rossi, who basically it allows to simply call WordPress content using Laravel's eloquent syntax. So how to get started. So in your Laravel app, you just generate the Corsell service provider. So using this command here. And after you generate the service provider, you have to configure it. So you configure the database connection. So you just set up the different uh, fields here, and you set it to connect to your WordPress database, basically. So this is how you use it. Um, there's a course that you just uh, reference or use the Corsell model post, and you reference it in your model. And you just have to call the, the same model. And um, in this case, uh, post, publish, get, that gets all the published posts. And or you could also use the alternative, which is status publish, and get all the status, all the posts that have the status publish. And if you want to find a specific post, you just use post find, which is uh, very uh, eloquent. And then you get the post title. So there's other ways you could get the post by slug. So if you prefer to put slugs and then um, call, call them into your front end app. And you could use custom fields. Um, basically, WordPress has the ability to allow authors to assign custom fields to a post, which is what I was explaining earlier. And it turns posts into some other content types. So for example, for events, you have event start, event end. And this is how you call and get the post with the custom fields. So in this case, um, if your post has a link or a phone, so if you're creating an e-commerce site and you want to add the publisher, the author's phone and his links, you could add it in, provided that you created the custom field for that. 
And this is how you could save the new post uh, if you have a new one, new data to add to the meta content. Other than this, you could also get the nav menu for your, Word, for your WordPress site. So if your boss like creates his own menu system inside your WordPress, you can still call it. So you see here, um, you call it by slug. Uh, here we're getting the primary menu, and we're looping through all of the menu items. So you could get the title, the name, or the link text. So this is the WordPress way, and for me, it's kind of, um, uh, it's, the, the code doesn't explain fully well what's happening behind the scenes, but basically what's happening here is you create a hook, and then you register, and you register it to the WordPress loop, and it triggers on init, it will trigger the action and call your menu. For other features, you could reference a readme in the Crossroad website. So, yep. So, to get started easily, just uh, look for a Crossroad example online. There's a lot of them. So, don't bother with uh, showing you how it's done. So, some thought, th thoughts about this. Um, pros and cons. So, the pro is security. You don't need to maintain your WordPress. And the con is you have two systems to deploy now. So, basically, every time you deploy, you need to make sure both are running correctly. Otherwise, one will fail. So you get to enjoy the best of both worlds. Uh, Laravel and Eloquent, the Eloquent syntax, and the WordPress. To your user, your users can use the WordPress site, um, let's say your boss, and they can manage the content with a WYSIWYG editor. So, yep, that's basically it. So about me, I, I'm Joe. I uh, currently head the Laravel Philippines group in the Philippines, and I volunteer for iVolunteer. Um, we basically create a website portal for volunteers to contribute their time. Um, it's built on Laravel. So you can follow me on Twitter. Um, um, thank you very much.